Good evening and welcome everyone to Bobby Keith Gymnasium, home of the Clay County Tigers and Clay County Lady Tigers. Clay County set to do battle here tonight with the uh, Lady Mountain Lions of Pineville coming in here uh, red hot, a five and one record. Uh, it's gonna be a uh, big task here for Clay County to, uh, to win this game, that, that is for certain. Uh, but we'll have to see how these, uh, see how the game goes. Uh, we'll get into that here in just a few minutes, but uh, Clay County coming in at three and two, wins against Whitley County, McCree Central, and OBI. Uh, our losses have been to Powell County uh, and Harlan County. I'm the direction of a new first year head coach, Gemma Parks. Uh, you might remember her as being a standout uh, performer here for the Lady Tigers herself, and then also uh, coached in her elementary uh, system and her middle school. She has progressed on up to be uh, the leader of the entire thing here. So best of luck to her. Clay County is uh, led by Mackenzie Sizemore. You'll see her number 24. She is a senior averaging about 12 and a half a game. Lauren Sizemore, a freshman number 14, averages about 11. She's one of our sharp shooters from three point range. Sydney Jones, number one, is an 11th grader. She's averaging about nine a game. Jalen Combs and Brooklyn Desarm should round out the starting lineup. And between them, they're averaging almost 12 points per contest. Uh, Clay County's averaging about 52 points a game, uh, making about seven threes. So uh, we definitely need to make us 10 or 11 threes here tonight, that is for sure. Bible, five and one, coached by uh, LG Green, uh, led by definitely one of the top players in the region. Uh, she wears number five, Nadine Johnson, 22 and a half points a game, one of the leading scorers in the 13th. Uh, senior, uh, she's a junior, and senior uh, Abigail Jackson, averaging about 14 a game, and Ava Arnett, number, uh, she's a sophomore, uh, number 15, she's averaging also in double figures around 12, 12 contests. They're not a big threat for the three-point shot. I look for they can kind of pack their zone back in and maybe let them, uh, you know, shoot a few out there to see if they're going to make them before having to go out and and uh, push them off the three-point line. But Pineville's averaging about 66 points a game. This is a good ball club. It's going to be a big test here tonight for uh, for our Lady Tigers, that is for certain. My name's J.D. Smith, glad you could join us here on the uh, Cats TV and the Southeast Kentucky Network. Uh, if you don't care, go over and hit the subscribe button on the Southeast Kentucky Network YouTube channel. Sure would appreciate it. It's free. Uh, it just lets you notify you when we are uh, actually have something else uh, that'll be coming up. So we're looking for an exciting ball game. The Lady Tigers are going to take on the Lady Mountain Lions of Pineville in just a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Mr. William Sixon, Superintendent of Clay County Public Schools, and Mr. Ryan Gregory, Principal of Clay County High School, welcome to Keith Gymnasium for tonight's basketball action between the Lady Mountain Lions and Pineville. And your Clay County Lady Tigers! Please rise and move your hats as we honor America with a play of our national anthem. The National Anthem will be performed by the Clay County High School Band under the direction of Mr. Brian Ward. Tonight's colors are being presented by local representatives of the Clay County High School JOTC Color Guard. Tonight the colors are being represented by Sergeant First Class Jayla Roberts, First Lieutenant Julia D'Souza, Corporal Matthew Jackson, and Private First Class Jonathan Murray.
last verse of the Bible laying out lines. Starting guard number 15, Ava Arnett. Starting guard number 22, Annie Jackson. Starting guard number 5, Nadine Johnson. Starting guard number 25, Cameron Glitter. Starting at four, number 14, Rachel Howard. And head coach for Lincoln Mountain Lions, Coach L.G. Green. Lady Mountain Lions taking on the home team here with the Clay County Lady Tigers here at Bobby Keith Gymnasium. Glad you could come along. Is controlled by Pavel. That's Nadine Johnson with the ball. We'll have to make sure we slow her down tonight. Averaging 22 and a half points a game. Like he does have it packed in. As we kind of suspect it because they can drive it. Shot did not bring iron, went out of bounds, Clay County's ball. No points, just started, 721 here to go in the first quarter. This is the first time Clay County's had the ball. J Lowe's going to inbound it. She can find somebody. She does. That's Lauren. Lauren lets one fly off the mark. We need her to make some three pointers tonight. And she usually does. Like any fighting able to control it. Pineville had about four shots at it there. We'll have to do a better job on the boards.
So it's more on the drive. She had a good idea, just left it a little short. They say it, uh, she got a piece of it. That might have been the reason why it was uh, six or seven inches short of the goal. Three-pointer back home. This may be her issue tonight is, is a rebound. We're getting them too many opportunities. Good driving bucket. Passed by Arnett. Arnett with her first two. Gina Parts wants a timeout right away. 5.58 to go. Clay can't leads it 3-2. to two. We're definitely going to have to get on the boards if we're going to stay in the ball game. Timeout, I'd say it's exactly what she's discussing right now. Pineville picking up full court. Clay can't done a pretty good job so far, though, of uh, breaking the press. Gonna be a foul on 22. The foul is on Jackson. That's her first. Team first. It's Abigail Jackson, number 22. Her first foul. Nadine Johnson with the miss. Picked her pocket. Pass by Johnson. Four to three, Pineville. Over on Clay County, going to get it right back to Pineville. Still four to three, four twenty-three to go here in the first quarter. Officials are calling a lot of those touch fouls. Three team fouls uh, already on Pineville, none on Clay County yet. We need her to get hot in the worst way. Rachel Howard, averaging seven rebounds a game, and just a freshman according to the KHSAA. 
good aggressive player. She's looking to complete the three-point play here for Pineville. Six to six. She misses it, but Pineville gets the rebound again. Howard rebound again. Three-pointers up and good. Three-point basket by Arnett. A save to Arnett. Sophomore. Jones. All of Clay County's buckets have come via the three-pointer. We've made three. Combs, Jones, and Sizemore all make it one. Nine to nine. This is where Nadine can do some damage also. She, she is so active that she does get fouled and goes to the line. Seems like she does that an awful lot. 10 to 9, Pavel. 3.02 to go here in the first quarter. Got them both. Mistake on the inbounds. Pass, Pineville intercepted it. The fouls of Jones, that's her first team third. And live shooting to Smith. <laughs> Got them both. Three-point goal for three-point goal, trading buckets. on a really nice move there from the top of the lane. That's Nadine Johnson. Pineville will get the ball down the floor and score in a hurry if you don't get back. She's very nifty. Sidney Jones is on fire here in the first quarter. 18-17, Pineville leads under a minute to go here in the first quarter. It's been action right back and forth. I think he's made five three-pointers in the quarter. But just about what we had to do was gonna try to win the ball game. It's gonna be steps.
Looking at having trouble getting it in, finally do. Taking a 20 to 18 lead. Wow, that was a wild and furious uh, first eight minutes of basketball here at Bobby Keep Gymnasium. Clay County takes a two point lead. Uh, after the first quarter, 20 to 18. In a quarter that saw a little bit of everything there, Clay County was uh, able to uh, Make six three pointers. Three of them by Sidney Jones. That's about what Clay County uh, had to do to really stay in the ball game. And it is part of their game. That's uh, that's what they like to do. Uh, is shoot the three. And they're pretty daggone good at it. Sure are tonight. Bible's definitely going to have to adjust to that reaching in. Pass ahead. Another offensive rebound by Pineville. Whoa, we're giving them way too many second chance opportunities. Johnson. Lauren tried to take that one to the go. Got knocked out of her hands. 20 to 20, 641 to go here in the first half. <laughs> Steps called, turnover. Actually not been very many turnovers in the ball game.
J-Lo had a good look at it there, rimmed off. Three-point go. Three-point passing by the winner. Jimmy Parks did not like uh, that one. 23 to 20, Pineville is on top with 4.58 to go here in the first half. Stepped on the end line. Another offensive rebound by Pavel. Pineville forces another turnover. 23-20, if you just joined us here on Catch TV and Southeast Kentucky Network. Glad you could join us tonight. The fellas on the bar, that's her first team four. Jackson again. Thank you, Andy. All of a sudden, having a terrible time breaking the press. Johnson doing what Nadine does. The fellas on Jones, that's her second. Took a strong to the goal and got fouled. That free throw made it 26-20. 3.36 to go here in the first half. Made them both. Kind of, kind of in a danger spot here. It's 29 to 20. Bibles loaded up a little bit. That was a nudge. The fouls on it. That's her first team fifth. 
Like you're only in search of a bucket here. We have not scored this quarter after scoring 20 in the first. Give and go. I think that's what Coach Jimmy Gray's been uh, screaming there for about five minutes. Get the ball to the middle and cut to the goal. They finally did and got a foul out of it. They came to search for their first points here in the second quarter. Jalen Combs makes the first. Another reach in foul. I think that'll put Clay County in the bonus. The foul's on Jackson, that's her second team set. And the line, she won't go as Thomas. Got to lead to seven, 29-22. Pineville Lady Mountain Lion is still on top. Got them both. Pineville pretty content to work the ball around the perimeter. We're under a minute to go here in the half. Johnson on a 15-footer. 30 seconds to go in the half. 31-23. Time on top. Thirteen seconds to go. Pineville's done a much better job second uh, quarter of getting out on her shooters, and Jimmy Gray's going to call timeout and talk it over this last possession. Seems like a big one, 31-23, 13 seconds to go here in the half.
Shots would be good after Buzzy. Buzzer. 33-23. Five old Lady Mountain Lions over top of the home team, the Clay County Tigers, the Lady Tigers. Quarter that uh, saw Pineville outscore uh, Clay County 15 to three here in the uh, in the second quarter. Clay County had 20 18 lead at the end of one, uh, but only mustered three free throws. Actually, no field goals in the quarter. Clay County will get the ball first. Start the second half. Leave another big quarter like we had in the first quarter. See one adjustment. Started to isolate McKenzie on her back to the bucket here. He got it inside. She got fouled. Made them both. Good start for Clay County. Well, let's see if we can limit Pineville Lady Mountain Lions to one shot. They killed us on the boards in the first half. Johnson on a good drive in the bucket. Johnson to Jackson uh, kind of carried the offensive load the first half for Pineville. Tie up under the go. Thirty-seven twenty-five on the strength of offensive rebounding here for Pineville. Six thirty-three to go in the third. Pineville's got a nice ball team. They are five and one on the season. Got a whole bunch of Lady Tigers around her and walked with the basketball. Still pressing. Nobody to throw it to. Five second call. to those. They came down nine, 37, 28.
5.37 to go here in the third quarter. Time to what? 10, 38, 28. Left that one short. Going to be called for steps. Coach Green going to talk things over right here. 5.15 to go here in the third quarter. Pine Bowl has a 10-point lead, 38-28. Johnson makes the first. I don't keep uh, rebounding stats, but I'll guarantee you they've doubled us up on rebounds, maybe tripled us up. drawing another foul. I don't think she realized how open she was there. She just turned and shot the ball. Made three of three this quarter, 40 to 29, 414 to go here in the third quarter. Mountain line, Lady Mountain Lions are on top. that one. The Bowser Collins, that's her fourth team third. Looks like Daisy Samples is coming to the game for Collins.
Turnover on Clay County. Still 40 to 29. Biggest lead of the ball game, 43-29. Say it was out on samples. They kind of got a timeout. 1.45 to go here in the third period. 14 point lead. Bible leads it 43 29. Danny forced a turnover out of that timeout with some uh, good uh, half court pressure. Turned around and had it uh, stolen back. And Nadine Johnson's going to go back to the line where I don't remember her missing tonight. Mason Bow, 16 point lead. They can't in danger right here. We need to get down here and make a bucket or two.
37.8 seconds to go here in the uh, third quarter. Been all Pineville. Really since the beginning of the second quarter. I've scored us 18 to nine. Good rebound in bucket. Lauren Sizemore with the offensive rebound and put back. That's the way the third quarter is going to come to an end. Clay County is going to trail it here uh, after three, 45 to 31. Glad you could join us here on uh, Cats TV and the Southeast Kentucky Network. Be Lady Mountain basketball to start the fourth. Up to, no, I'm sorry, be the uh, Lady Tigers basketball to start the fourth. Blocked in there. Good hustle by Combs to break up that pass. Going to remain with Pineville. Just started the fourth quarter. Right now, Pineville has a 15 point lead, looking pretty comfortable. Seven sixteen to go in the ball game. Good bucket by Nadine Johnson. Sizemore with another free throw. 48-32, 6.44 remaining. Final in command. Missed the second. Goodbye, 
Adeline Shimobos Santos. Clay County will be in the bonus from here to the rest of the game. 6-11 to go. Pineville leads it by 18. was rejected inside by Pineville. Boys got a little ragged here. 52-35, 17 point lead by Pineville. 444 remaining in the ball game. Bucket by Lauren. Full time out, Lady Mountains. Fifty four thirty seven. Pineville leads Clay County with four fifteen to go in the ball game. Pineville with their 100th offensive rebound. I know that's an exaggeration, but that's is definitely what it seems like. They just pounded us on the boards. Three pointers good. Three point basket by Biggest lead of the game, 59-37. We just don't have an answer for them right now. Yeah. Only two shots for Lauren. 251 to go in the ball game. The fouls on the litter, that's her fourth team eight. Shoot 
got one or two. Sixty-one forty, minute fifty-four to go. Some substitutions coming into the game for Clay County. Get a little varsity experience here. Pineville has substituted four girls. We missed both free throws there. County got three attempts at that one. 44.3 seconds to go. Pineville is definitely going to win the game, 63 to 40 at the moment. Just be a matter of the margin of victory. This is a good uh, Lady Mountain Lion team. Be interested to see what uh, how that 51st district pans out. Uh, definitely, them and Knox Central girls are the best two in that district. They've not played each other yet this year. seconds to go. And they did count the bucket. That's going to make the final score 63 to 42. A 21 point victory here. Pretty impressive by the Lady Mountain Lions. 
from uh, Pineville, Kentucky. Big district uh, doubleheader coming up Thursday night over at Jackson County. Clay County girls and the Clay County boys both taking on uh, Jackson County generals and lady generals. So uh, we hope to see you over there, uh, definitely supporting these teams. We've got some growing pains, uh, but uh, we have some talent. Uh, we have too many turnovers tonight. Uh, and. You know, when we, when we got our feet set and shot the ball, we actually shot the ball rather well. Uh, it's just that Pineville got after us there, starting in about the second quarter, uh, because we made six three-pointers in the first quarter. Uh, actually had a two-point lead, 20 to 18. But after that, uh, they uh, Pineville ratcheted up the defense and got after our shooters and forced us to have to try to drive the basketball, which is not something that we uh, particularly do in a ball game. Uh, we like to have our feet set and shoot those uh, shoot those bombs. Uh, but tonight, uh, Pineville was able to shut them down. Uh, appreciate you guys joining us here on Cats TV and the Southeast Kentucky Network. Pineville Lady Mountain Lions are victorious over the home team, the Clay County Lady Tigers, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>